الأول Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Right where he wants to be, in the clinch. Ooh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That right hand landed. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Score that takedown for me, man. Straight right, he misses. Body kick is blocked. And they set. Big ball punch land. Now we get back in range. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right, let's show you some of the highlights from the previous round. DC, elbow striking 101. Elbow striking 101. Every time his opponent got close, he knew that was going to be the game plan. His opponent was going to pressure, so he was trying to smother him. But instead of just grabbing and holding, he used those elbows to really damage his opponent and put himself ahead in this fight. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Good stick. Another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stick that uppercut out there. Liver kick. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good punch. Way to hide that leg. Back and forth we go! Just missed with the left there. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands. Ooh. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, big knee! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big elbow! Amir Khani's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Two rounds in the books. Right now, we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Choi shot is blocked. Very nice leg kick there by Amir Khan. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Good punch, Land. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Joy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Nice one-two there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. We need that takedown. Oh. Yeah. 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 Come on. Beautiful Come on. kick. Nice uppercut. Punch is blocked. Nice punch, man. Single collar tie now. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him.
counters once again, this time with the overhand right. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. 20 seconds to go. Amir Khani's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. That's a big strike right there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Ooh, what a punch. Come on, push through. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. The Korean Superboy gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. 